What's up guys, Vince the Anomaly here, and today we are going to be covering a solo drill. It's gonna be ground and pound. All you need is a heavy bag and some space. Let's check it out. All right guys, so the first thing we're gonna be working on are our movements around this heavy bag. We wanna really keep this thing um, more realistic in terms of, I'm gonna pretend like this is an actual person that's fighting against me. Okay, pro tip for you, don't be hitting this side where it has the chain and all this extra stuff. That's how you cut yourself, that's how you hurt your elbows. Hit the bottom side. Another good uh, part of that is usually the padding starts to fall down, so it's a little bit harder, so you can develop that strength as well. But we're gonna be working here as if this is our opponent's head, okay? If I'm on the side like this, obviously I'm in side control. We've got our knee on belly, we've got mount. I also like to stand right here, almost as if I'm standing in someone's guard so I can posture up and punch. But the, the real important thing is make sure I move around this thing as if it's a person. So if I'm on knee on belly here, I'm not just gonna take my time, step up like this and start punching. That wouldn't happen in a fight. Someone's gonna grab their, grab your hands, uh, grab your hips, push off and regard. We don't want that to happen. So if I'm on knee on belly and I wanna get to mount, I can either slide my knee across, then posture up, or if I'm on knee on belly here, I can switch to the other side. I can collect the arm and slide here in side control, get our traditional side control. I can open up the opposite way, start hitting the belly, and step over. But you really wanna make sure all these movements are nice and smooth and we're keeping it realistic. Next, we wanna figure out what type of strikes to throw. Right, so obviously, just for mount here, our basic ones are our straight punches coming down. We can also do our hooks or our round punches, which are coming to the outside. One thing I like to do is start to work the middle, brings our opponent's hands in. And once we do that a few times, we can start going to the outside, mixing it up. Don't forget to post as if I'm posting on their arms or their chin. Develop these strikes down the middle. Another thing you can do obviously, drop these elbows. You can either come on the outside like this, like we're cutting down. We can be driving through the center of their guard here. Also, if we're on the side, let's say I've got side control, I could be elbowing this way to the head here. I could be elbowing the body. Everything is legal, just not these 12 to sixes where you're going straight from the sky to the ground. So work your different elbows. Now, another thing people forget about here when they're working the bag like this is the knees, right? So I could be kneeing to the belly here. I could be posturing up here, and let's say this person's in turtle, not when he's lying down because we can't knee their head, but if he's turtled up and I'm working on getting my knees right here into the rib cage as if this person's right here, we can be kneeing that way as well. And be sure on these strikes here, we're throwing heavy power, right? Or you can mix up the cadence with some light shots followed by a couple of big bombs. People like to punch and work the bag differently in the fight as well. Some people will keep these pitter patter shots just to keep you at the edge of just about being ready to give up your neck and tap. Some people like to just get on top and throw these sharpshooter type of bombs. So be sure to mix up the different styles of what you're trying to do. So let's talk about power shots here. Everyone wants to get on top and rain on these big Donkey Kong blows, right? But we can't just throw them from anywhere. Obviously I wouldn't be throwing them really hard here because our guy would be able to get up, grab a leg, get me back in guard. Same thing in side control. I'm not just gonna let go and start bashing this guy with hammer fist or whatever it is because they'll start to shrimp, turn away and get their guard back. I wanna throw bigger shots when I have a very controlled position. So let's say I'm on top and mount here. I've got a nice knee on belly position. Or if I'm on side control, I'm gonna be throwing tighter, powerful elbows, things like that. But in terms of punching power, one thing I like to do, especially in this knee on belly spot, is really drive my hips and pretend like I'm digging my knuckles through the bag and I'm trying to hit the ground, okay? I find that with this, because I don't have my legs to really turn in as if I'm standing up and striking, because we're, we're attached, we're on the ground here, I like to drop my hips in and really follow through with this arm right down the middle. Okay, you're gonna feel like you can generate way more power as opposed to just staying here and throwing my arm really hard. Again, this is just a hard arm punch, but if I sink my weight into it, you can hear on the bag, it's gonna be a lot harder. So when you are throwing those powerful shots, guys, be sure that we're sinking down at the very last second, almost like at the same spot where you're hitting the heavy bag and you clench up right at the end, you make sure that fist is tight. It's gonna be the same thing with this, except my weight's gonna be driving in. So I'm here, 
Same thing with elbows. I can do these short little ones, or I can drive all the way through. So be sure to mix in that power, those light shots with the heavier shots for power. Again, we talked about cadence before, shots down the middle, lighter shots, big shots. If I'm going one, two, three, mix it up and go one, two, three, four, one, two, four, and switch it up. Okay, now we're gonna show you what it looks like to put it all together. We wanna make sure that we're moving as if this is an opponent on the ground. So we're gonna be using our strikes to work my way up. I like to start here in the guard, just how I was before, throwing these punches, splitting the guard, getting the side control. And again, usually once we get to side, especially in MMA, we're working to get that mount so we can rain down punches or take the back. So here, I'm gonna be using some elbows. Switch my stance, work the body. Step over, now I've gotten to where I wanna be, right? Working that mount. Let's say this guy starts pushing on a leg. I have to disengage, get over the side control or knee on belly. And I wanna work all the way through. You can even go to this north-south position as well, guys. Use it to transition. And then start unloading on the back. So let's go, just about 30 seconds of what this should be looking like. Again, use that power, cadence, everything. That's how it should realistically look, right? I need to be moving as if this opponent's trying to re-guard or, or he's defending himself. I also gotta be splitting my, my cadence. I gotta be splitting some softer shots with power shots, dropping those elbows, using those knees. Use everything at your disposal. So now one way I like to use this is in between rounds. So I would be doing pads with my coach. After every minute, break, boom, ground and pound on the back. Hard, moving, hitting. After another minute, I'm going back with the coach. You can do the same thing for grappling. Or if you're by yourself, you know, this is a great solo drill to just work the bag alone on the ground. Or you can be working on the ground, put the bag back up, start working on the feet. After that round's over, take the bag back down and start hitting it. If you're a wrestler, or you like to throw these bags around, if you have a smaller bag, you can pick it up, dump it over. Again, work that ground and pound, pick it up, dump it, suplex, whatever you wanna do. But there's a lot of things you can do. And again, this is great to work on by yourself. So try it at home. Make sure to film yourself. Tag me on Instagram at Vince Anomaly and I can kind of critique you or help you out if you have any questions. So there it is guys, a great solo drill to work on your ground and pound. Remember to keep the moves realistic and make sure to land pretty hard on that bag so you can develop that ground and pound strength. Until next time, be sure to subscribe to Fight Tips. I'm Vince Anomaly. Fight Tips for the underdogs.